Existence is pain. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday, a show where it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. This is my sous chef Franklin for those of you who do not know. So I had a whole different Tasty Tuesday idea planned and I forgot the main ingredient of it last night and it was too late to go to the grocery store for me because it's scary at night at the grocery store where strangers are. So you get to see me half awake doing breakfast recipe in my Mr. Meesex onesie. Existence is pain. So really I, I feel like you won. I haven't done a breakfast recipe in a while because who wants to do that much work in the morning for your food? You know what I'm saying? But I found these Pinterest looking mug cake recipes. Let me show you these pictures, okay? Look at this. That is a mug cake. Today we're trying a donut mug cake and a cinnamon roll mug cake. This supposedly doesn't take very long. You wanna see? <laughs> he wants to see it. And this cinnamon roll mug cake. What? What? Are you looking? I wanna know two things. One, can we make something that looks like the pictures, like when we make it? And two, does it taste good? Because things can look really good and taste awful. We need both. Actually, we don't really need it to look good. I just want to see if it looks good. These are the things we're going to find out. These are the things we need to know. Let's make this dish. Step one, we're going to need two mugs because we're trying two recipes. If you're only going to try one of them, you just need one mug, but I want to try both of them, tell you which one's better. And then a third mug to hold your coffee so that you can be alive and able to speak words. Maybe. Results may vary. Results may vary? Is that what I said? See? Doesn't always work. I think I'm going to start with the cinnamon roll mug cake because that one looks the hardest. There's a lot of steps, which is dumb, but if it turns out like that, then I might not mind. Also, I just happen to have all of these ingredients in my pantry, so that helped a lot. Point one for the mug cakes. So we're basically gonna take one of our mugs and put all of these ingredients into it. Ready? Four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Flour? I hardly know her. Just wanna get one out of the way right away. One, three teaspoons of sugar. What are we doing? Sugar. Sugar? I hardly know her. How many of these? A fourth teaspoon baking powder. Powder, I hardly know her. An eighth a teaspoon cinnamon. Cinnamon, I hardly know a man. It has to stop sometime, right? It can't be every ingredient. We'll see, challenge accepted. One sixteenth a teaspoon nutmeg. Nutmeg, I hardly... <laughs> Nope, not Meg. <laughs> it stops at Meg, not Meg. Uh, the 16th a teaspoon is like, is that even anything? It's a fourth a fourth a teaspoon. Math, love doing it in the morning. Three tablespoons milk, preferably fat-free or dairy-free. Uh, it just is better, she says, for this recipe because um, whole milk makes it drier. You don't want that for the microwave, you know what I'm saying? Three tablespoons and half a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Probably use a healthier oil, but I don't know what to use, so I'm just gonna follow the instructions. Is that a whole tablespoon? Now she says to whisk this with a tiny whisk. I don't know how many of you have a tiny whisk. I do not. So I'm gonna use a fork, cause fork it. And we're gonna just whisk all of those ingredients that we added to our mug. I feel like this is already enough of a cinnamon roll for me. Like if you weren't here, I'd just stop, I think. I'd just eat this. Wait, does it taste good? Never mind, I wouldn't eat this. I would put it in the microwave first. I'd just like you to know what I would do when the cameras are off, like my true character. Okay, now that that's mixed in a separate small bowl, or I'm just gonna use this measuring cup because it's microwave safe and has a spout on it. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. We're gonna combine our cinnamon swirl ingredients, which is a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar, an eighth a teaspoon cinnamon, and a half a tablespoon of butter or Earth Balance. I'm using Earth Balance because I like it. Then we're gonna put this in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds or until the butter is melted. Do it. Microwave. Totally sleep in a full face of makeup. I woke up like this. Leave what you want. Butter is melted. Now we're gonna stir this until it becomes a uniform thick syrup. You gotta really want this much. Cake. I don't think I added enough butter. This is not like a syrup at all. It's like a wet sugar. I'm gonna add some more butter. This needs to be pourable. I right know it's deplorable. Um, how is your morning? Cool, we're done with that conversation. Nope, no, we're not. Anyway, mine is good. Okay, that's better. So far, I would say pancakes are less hard than this. We haven't gotten to the baking part yet. Oh, but I hate like actually making the pancakes when it comes to like making them. So maybe that will be the redemption of this. Are you done yet? That's like success. Hello, finish, thanks. 
don't know. This isn't really like melting for me. It's kind of like jelly. Why is the sugar not melting? Well, I'm over trying to figure it out. Okay, so now it says we gotta take half of this batter and put it in a different mug. Oh my goodness, so many dishes. I will reserve judgment until after we taste it though. Then we're taking our cinnamon syrup and we're making a swirl in the remaining half that's in the mug. Or just not a swirl at all. Just, wow, just like splatters of things. See, this is why we wanted the spout so that we could make a pretty swirl. But Okay, mine looks like this. <laughs> Definitely not a swirl at all. That's okay, it's good. Then we're gonna pour the rest, the batter that we poured into a different mug, we're gonna pour it back on there. Hey, you want a Pinterest looking Instagram picture? You gotta do this work. And you gotta make it look like you just whipped something up in a mug and put it in a microwave and that's how it turned out. Cause your life is perfect. Now we're gonna put the rest of the syrup stuff into a swirl on the top. Really easy, just like the first time we did it. I tried really hard. Don't move so much. Whatever, we're all gonna die. Now we're gonna put this in the microwave for a minute until all the parts are completely cooked. Do your thing. What? That look right to you? <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna trust it because it feels cooked. It just doesn't look cooked. It looks exactly like the dough that we put in there, but now it's hard. Okay, well, I'm gonna set that aside and this is gonna pull it all together. We're gonna make the frosting and it's gonna look exactly like the picture. We're gonna use the same measuring cup we used before. We're gonna put a half a tablespoon of butter inside of it. A tablespoon of cream cheese, or this better than cream cheese. <laughs> and two to two and a half tablespoons of powdered sugar. I'm gonna melt that in the microwave for 10 seconds. This is just not easy. If anyone tells you a mug recipe is just easy, they're liars. Oh, that was more than 10 seconds. Okay, you gotta pay attention to everything. And we're gonna whip this up like that. You know what I would do is, I would just melt the butter first and then put the rest of the ingredients in. Otherwise they just get so like stiff and they don't mix in. Why are we doing all the ingredients in the microwave? It should just be the butter in the microwave. If I had to write this recipe, I'd just say put the butter in the microwave, then mix the rest later. This doesn't look like the picture. This doesn't look like the picture. And maybe, you know what, maybe life doesn't look like the picture. Pour swirl on top of the cinnamon, you know. Sometimes life just looks like you got fucked. Maybe it tastes better than it looks. I'll have a taste tester come in here. Steve. Uh, I'm trying the first one because Tasty Tuesday Man isn't ready. This is the cinnamon roll cake. You know, if you didn't have an idea of what you were trying to do before you achieved it, like this could look good. Oh my God. It ta actually it tastes really good. This tastes really good. This is actually really worth it. You should make this. It will not look at all like that fancy picture. Let me just, let me just really quick comparison. Here's what you thought your life was gonna be like. Here's what it actually looks like. But guess what, motherfucker? It tastes really good. Life tastes good. Enjoy life. You should enjoy the journey. Here, I'll try it off camera. It's really good. How is wow. that? It's really good. Yeah. Mm hmm This is at least less work than actual cinnamon rolls taste, and it tastes so good. Regular cinnamon rolls, you have to like wait for dough to rise, and it tastes like 20 minutes for them to be in the oven. It's like a bitch, but this took maybe like 15 minutes total, and it's really good. I highly recommend it. Just don't expect it to look like a picture. This cake was like, if you went on Tinder date, and the person did not look like their profile picture, but you got really drunk and had sex anyway, and the sex was really good. That's never happened to me, but I feel like it's relatable. <laughs> Anyway, donut time. Let's do it. This looks good. Will it look this good? We don't know. I think one of the things is you have to have like mugs that are like tiny and cute. They're like eight ounce mugs. I have like regular, this is meant for coffee. This is not meant for cutesy fun times. I don't have any teacups. I don't have teacups. I have big boss lady coffee mugs for running my business in my professional work attire. That's right. Oh my gosh. Well, that's what I wanted. How convenient. When does that happen? Into a mug that's cuter than this, please. If you want to look at the picture, we're gonna add all of these ingredients. Three tablespoons of sugar. Six Six tablespoons all-purpose flour. I think this is the thing. I always put too much flour. No matter if it's cups or tablespoons. Half a teaspoon baking powder. A sixteenth teaspoon ground nutmeg. Again, the teensiest amount. She says, this may look like a small amount, but please do not omit it. So, we are not omitting. We are inserting. One and three-fourths tablespoon of vegetable oil. Really specific. There's no three-fourth spoon. It's gonna have to do. Three tablespoons, again, of low-fat, non-fat, or dairy-free milk. I'm using almond. Milk. The milk from the breasts of an almond. And a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, now we're just gonna whisk this with a mini whisk, aka a fork, until the batter is smooth. Smooth like donuts. 
that have not been baked yet. I think the trick is, if you're not using a whisk, to do it in a figure eight. Nah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just making it sound good. Like life. Too many life analogies. Beast move. Come on. I'm impatient. It's breakfast time. Oh, that batter is pretty good. This one, maybe I would eat the batter without cameras on. But I'm not going to because I'm classy. Have you seen me? Hello. Stop coughing. Now we're going to cook this in our microwave at full power for a minute and 30 seconds. You ready, microwave? Are you feeling powerful? This is such an old microwave. I just don't even think you know what you're doing. But that's okay. We're going to let it feel empowered. Minute and a half. Okay, our cake is done and this one looks much better. It's like almost to the top and it's got an even surface. It says to let it cool for a few minutes before decorating. So we're going to set it to the side. Feel pretty good about this. Hopefully this isn't terrible foreshadowing. I got some semi-sweet chocolate chip and I got some coconut milk. It says to use boiling heavy cream for this, but I'm going to see if I can substitute the fatty part of the coconut milk. So we'll see if that works. And you know, obviously I'll let you know. Wouldn't that be mean if I just didn't let you know? Just the video ends here. Bye. Two tablespoons. I think that's like two tablespoons of that fatty whipped cream, fatty coconut cream. Okay, now we put these in the microwave for 10 seconds at a time. Also, in the recipe, it says to boil the whipping cream first. Definitely didn't do that. My bad person. Work out anyway. Please work out in my favor. I think this might have worked. Maybe not, but I don't know what it's supposed to look like. So I win. Now the donut mug cake has been cooling for a second for a couple minutes. She used a cupcake pourer to make it look more like a donut. I don't have that, but but I do have this pineapple core that I feel like might work. Wow, I'm resourceful. You don't have to do this step, but it looks really cool of you if you do. So choice is yours. I'm gonna try it. You don't go all the way down, just like halfway to make it have the appearance of a donut and you know, look Pinteresty and cute for your Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> it's working. So oh, very cool. Excuse me, can you come out? Thanks. That tastes like a donut. Okay, so it looks like this. Let me show you the B-roll camera. Looks like this. Okay, so now we're gonna pour our chocolate ganache or whatever we made here, all over this. And then if you want, and if you have it, I had some sprinkles that have never been used. Why did I buy these? I have no idea why I bought these, but they're in the cupboard, so we're using them. Now we're gonna sprinkle these around the tops of the donut. No, try not to get it in the hole. They make it look like a donut. Oh my gosh, you look so good. Look, this one actually does look a lot like the picture. I put a little too much frosting, I think. Oh, don't, oh man. Anyway, now the sprinkles are falling in there. It doesn't look as much like the picture because I'm trying to show you. It. But yeah, this turned out like the picture. Is it tasty? Let's find out. All right. Tasty Tuesday, guys, still isn't ready, so he's gonna do this off camera because he doesn't want you to see his bed head, I guess. I'm gonna try it first. That looks like a donut. Mmm, that's good. I don't feel like it tastes like a donut. I feel like it tastes like a cake, but it tastes very good. Oh, yeah. It tastes kind of like a donut. I think if the frosting cooled down a bit, then it would taste more like a donut. It tastes like cake, for sure. Yeah, it tastes like a cake, but a very good cake. Like it looks like a donut tastes like a cake. How about that? Sometimes about that? in life, things aren't what they appear to be, but it doesn't make them bad. You're talking about something? Yeah, I'm making life metaphors for everything. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get one? Yeah, it was really good. Thanks. It made me think, you know? Yeah, right? Even though it didn't make sense to me, like it made me think. And then did it make you go, so true. The new thing is you say literally anything and then you say, let that sink in. <laughs> Let that sink in. Is a moose a monkey? We don't know. Let that sink in. A moose could be a monkey. Now I'm like, yeah. oh shit, I'm questioning everything about life. Are mooses in the monkey family? Let that sink in. Or is everything in the monkey family? Why do they call it frosting when it's not cold? Let that sink in. Why do they call it building a building when it's already built? Why do you drive on a parkway and park on a driveway? Let that sink in. Let that sink in. All right, well, this has been Tasty Tuesday. These are very tasty. I don't know if it's worth all your effort and um, all the cleanup that happens, but it's a Sunday, so, you know, we like to waste it on cleaning. And so, I think it's really tasty. I think it's cute in a weird way. It's cute, it's kind of cute. You made a cake in a mug. <laughs> <laughs> Let that sink in. Let that sink in. How cute you are. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I will do the recipe that I had planned to do today instead of this. I will do it in a couple weeks. It's still gonna happen. I have all the ingredients for it except for one, the main ingredient. So that'll happen. But um, until then, subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And uh, come back on Thursdays. I've been putting up videos on Thursdays. Where you at? Huh? Where you at? I thought we was fam. See you next time. Bye. Bye.